Hello everybody and welcome back to another week of the RLCS Season 7 Predictions. Today we have Ghost Gaming starting off against Bread Gaming. And a uh, quick funny story real quick, I almost actually forgot to make this video because uh, I didn't actually play a whole bunch of Rock League this past week. There were two days. Um, yeah, I think Wednesday and Thursday. I actually didn't play at all because, I, I don't know, I was just busy doing other stuff even though I had played a whole bunch over the past two weeks and so I kind of just forgot to check the RLCS schedule. But um, yeah, so anyway, so I'm excited, I'm going to watch it, of course, um, every Saturday, free time, I always do this, you know, have, I have like, the RLCS on Twitch on one screen, and the, like, I'm probably in like, free player training packs or whatever on my other screen. But yeah, Ghost Gaming and Spread Gaming, oops, did I say bread? I meant Space Station, I forgot, I, I don't know why I said that. Anyways, Space Station Gaming's 1 and 2, the losses have come against G2, and then they actually stopped EG, but EG hasn't looked that great. And then of course, um, they lost to NRG. So, two tough teams to take the loss to there, but I do think they are looking good. Uh, again, I don't think they're big 3 caliber, but obviously they are in 4th place right now. Playing against Ghost, I think they'll be able to take it. Ghost looks bad. Um, yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I hope... I don't know. I don't like to see teams do bad unless it's like teams I really don't like, but there aren't really many teams I don't like. But I, I just don't think Ghost has the caliber this year to get any higher than relegation zone. I do think they could stay up, and I hope they do, but I don't think they're going to get any higher than that. I think it'll be Ghost and Spice down on the bottom. Red Gaming's look pretty good. Um, last week they kind of got dismantled, right? Yeah, Energy kind of beat them up. Yeah, they scored one game, one goal over three games, so they'll obviously be looking to make a comeback. The week before, they, they beat EG pretty well, but I, I think I think this is a week um, Bread will come back. To, or, wow, Space Station, sorry. To be able to solidify their spot up in the top four, top five teams. Um, G2 versus Splice. Splice again. It's just like whenever I'm watching these teams, um, like Splice and Ghost and stuff, especially Splice, like they just don't seem like they have the quality of hits. Like it seems like their offense is and like every, and not even just their offense, but like every hit they get in the field um, feels kind of like a ranked game would, right? Like it's not like the super. Obviously, they are way, they're good enough to be in the RLCS, so that's a bit of a rough comparison, but hear me out for a minute. Like, like they just don't have what the top, if you look at the top tier teams, like G2, Cloud9 specifically, and Energy specifically, right? Like, they all are very creative in offense, and they're very smothering, but with um, Splice and like Ghost and stuff, it just seems like their hits don't really do much. Like, they're kind of just, I don't even know how to describe it right, but like, it's not super creative and effective, I guess, is the best way of putting it. Their play is kind of standard, which it can work, right? Like, it could, it got them to the RLCS, but I don't know if it's good enough to get them a lot of wins in the RLCS. So I have G2 winning this one. Uh, at the moment, G2 is 4-0, along with Energy and Cloud9. That's crazy. Those both teams have 85.7 win rate, and G2 has 70%. I remember at the beginning of um League Play, like before it started, my um, pre LCS predictions I had actually um, Vitality and Dignitas getting 70% plus win percentages but obviously Dignitas failed me there. I should have gone with North America. They're slaughtering everybody. Um, Spice Evil Genius is next. This is a rough one because Evil Genius is actually lower than Spice in the standings right now but I think Evil Genius is way more potential. Um, started off beating Rogue of course. Um, Spice lost energy. I don't know. It just and Splice lost to Rogue, Evil Geniuses beat Rogue, kind of like the you know, Rock, Paper, Scissors type thing, but that doesn't really work in sports too much if you ask me, because different playstyles mesh differently, it's weird. But um, I do think Evil Geniuses has better quality, and I think when they're when both teams are playing their best, I think Evil Geniuses is a better team. And so obviously we'll come down to see if Evil Geniuses is playing their best. Um, Space Station Gaming versus Cloud9. Cloud9 looked amazing last week, I think, right? Yeah, 3-1 against Rogue, 3-1 against EG. Nothing too scary there, I don't think, but the losses, yeah. Evil Genius, lost to Evil Geniuses was in overtime, and their loss to Rogue was a bit scary, 3-0, but they were able to come back and shut them out 6-1 to one for the rest of the series. I think um, Cloud9 will take this one, probably secure in their number one spot. Um, yeah. G2 versus Energy, this is one of the first um, big games of the season with the big three, right? As far as I remember, this is one of the first. Um, that'll be the game to watch, I think. Um, last game of the day for NA. G2 vs Energy. I think Energy will take this, um, breaking the flawless record of the top three teams. G2 
versus energy. Um, energy, kind of like what I was saying with Spice earlier, right? Like, all their hits just seem kind of standard. But with energy, it seems like a really high percentage of their hits are unorthodox. And, like, especially with Justin and Garrett G, like, when they're up front there, they're always creating um, space with the ball. And, like, whatever they're doing, it's always throwing off the other team, I feel like. Their hits are um, really good. I think they look the most dominant this season. Probably going to take number one in NA, if you ask me. Uh, G2 is a good team still. It'll be a really close game, and I don't know if I'll be able to put much into it if they get if they get beat pretty well. Cause uh, I don't know. I think G2 will be third again. Isn't this, this feels like that's always the way, right? It's kind of like Cloud9 Energy top two, and then G2 is um, third place. Kind of like Arsenal are always fourth in the Premier Division in soccer. Um, Next up in EU, let me get to the EU standings and everything real quick and the EU results. Alright, so let's get into it. Last week um, we actually saw some really interesting results like um, Vitality looked somewhat mortal <laughs> against TSM, but I don't know, it wasn't a big. A few, like, a lot of game fives. There haven't been this many game fives in, like, any other week, right? Because, like, look at week two, there were, like, none in EU. So that was an exciting week last week. Hopefully, more of the same this week. Um, starting off with Mouse Sports versus Barcelona. Mouse Sports still won three, and Barcelona's won two. I do think Barcelona's a better team. I think they'll take it. I'm, I'm honestly, I'd be surprised if Triple Trouble stay above Barcelona by the end of the season. I think Barcelona look, can look really good when they're on top of their game. Uh, Mass Sports, uh, I don't think they're good enough to beat Barcelona. Barcelona do look really good. Mass Sports kind of need a lot to pop off if they want to win, it seems like, most of the time. I think Barcelona could... Yeah, they'll get top five, I think. But Mass Sports really do have a chance to move up here and get out of the relegation zone, because one win, right? Like, Barcelona, the Bricks, Mass Sports, they're all on one win. And even PSG and Triple Trouble only have two wins, so they're not out of reach. I think if Mass Esports can plot a win, it'll be huge for them today because they have two matches. Because um, I, I do not expect them to beat Vitality last week, so this next week. So this is the last week to really make a stand to stay up out of the relegation zone and get a chance at the regional championships. Uh, but I do think Barcelona will take it. Mass Esports kind of need a win though. But Trouble Trouble versus Vitality. Uh, Vitality are going to take this one. Vitality, again, looking amazing. Um, the biggest thing, right, is like. Kind of like what I was saying with um, Spice, right? They don't have quality hits, but Energy does. Vitality are kind of like the e EU version of this. Every hit they get seems to be a quality hit, you know? Um, and, and the scary thing is, you could have a team that's full of really good passing plays, good teamwork, all this stuff, but it makes it so much harder to beat when you, you, can, you have to worry about their passing plays and their solo plays, because at any moment, you don't know if they're gonna, you know, have some crazy passing play or if they're gonna have some crazy solo goal. Like any every aspect of their game is really threatening, and so I think that's gonna be too much for Triple Trouble. Messi Sports versus PSG. Last week PSG beat the Bricks and lost to Triple Trouble, but Mouse got through it by ditching Tasa Tina. Hadn't won yet this season. Um, I do think. Oh my gosh! Like. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I know this is weird, and like obviously Dignitas are lowest in the standings, but like it hasn't even clicked in my head until now that Dignitas could get relegated. Like, how weird would that be if they don't start winning more? That'd be the weirdest thing ever. Um, but yeah, uh, Mass versus PSG. I don't think PSG are better. They've been playing kind of average this season. Nothing exceptional from them. Kind of middle of the pack, like I expected. But I do think they could beat Mass Sports. Um, a big win for them because they are two and two. They're still not haven't secured a really high seed, and so another win for them would be good, you know? Obviously, like, they're top three, but they're just not looking like a top three team should, you know what I mean? I feel like three through six is just, like, such a roller coaster of who's going to beat who, but I think PSG could secure their spot in the top five, four teams today. Next up, Barcelona versus the Bricks. This will be a fun game to watch, I think. Um, fifth and sixth, respectively, so whoever wins could take over. Um, a, like, you know, the top slots and get that much further away from the relegation zone. I do think Barcelona will be able to take it out as long as they get the win earlier in the day against, um, <coughs> excuse me, against Mouse Sports. I think that momentum will be good against going in for them. Uh, I think 
the bricks can look better. It's just, I don't know, with speed on the team, I don't think he's a bad player, but they just don't play as well as they did with Yukio. Um, that's the thing, right? Like, even if you're like, even if you're bringing in a player of similar skill level, even though I do think Yuki is better, um, it's rough because you know you throw off that team chemistry and there's a chance it just doesn't work out, right? They could, they, they could work it out. I don't think it's an impossible thing. I don't think they're a terrible fit for the team, but they just haven't worked out yet. There seem to be some problems when they're playing just a few, but like double commands, stuff like that. Um, oh, oh, ooh, okay. Um, Oh, this is random, but I forgot to talk about this earlier. With Splice, the third man rotation is really slow, so they need to fix that. <laughs> Alright, and so um, Barcelona versus the Bricks, I think Barcelona can take it, but it can go either way, I think. Um, I'll be rooting for Barcelona, though, but I think they've looked better than the Bricks have at their peak. Um, the Bricks, didn't they put up a good fight against Vitality, though? No, they did not. Okay. I mean, it was two one-goal games, but yeah, I think Barcelona can take it. Next up, Dignitas versus Trouble Trouble. This is a huge game for Dignitas. Um, Trouble Trouble too, but even bigger for Dignitas. They don't have many games left. They have three, but I mean, one's against Trouble Trouble, one's against Bricks, and against TSM. I think TSM will beat them, and so they have two chances left really to try to get out of the relegation zone. And even if they did that, they, they like they'd have to win both. I think to even like ugh, they're they're not gonna get to the regional championships and you know, get top four. There's no way. Um, which seems weird, but I just, I just don't think there's any possible way they're going to make Worlds and have a championship run this season. Um, I do think they can beat Trouble Trouble, though. If they have fixed their issues, um, they did beat Mouse Sports pretty comfortably last week, right? Yeah. But, like, dating tests, again, have higher potential if they play their best. But it's a matter of when they're actually going to start playing their best. Because like, last week looked good against Mouse, but in all fairness, it is Mouse. I mean, they shut them down to one goal, so it is a good chance that they're feeling better, but it's a rough one. I do think Dignitas will come out on top. Trouble Trouble have looked average. I, I just don't think, even in their wins, that they've looked super impressive. Um, not championship quality. Not, not as RLCS quality, but I mean like world's quality. Um, and then TSM versus PSG, final game of the day. I think TSM can take this. Um, obviously, if they're if anybody's going to challenge no Vitality this season, I think it's going to be TSM in the EU at least. Um, everybody talks about how like EU is so much better than NA, but I mean, like, I don't know. If, if we go to NA, like third place team G2 versus third team PSG, do we really think PSG could beat G2 or that space station would lose to Triple Trouble? I don't know. I, I think... NA has a better top four this season than EU does. I think Reno Vitality are their real chance at winning a at EU winning a championship this season. But yeah, TSM versus PSG, I think TSM can take it. Uh, PSG, I don't know. They're, they're too average, I think. TSM can play better than them. TSM have looked better this season, I think, but oops, last week. They um they yeah, they beat Barcelona and but and they lost to Vitality. Their games were pretty close. Um two one goal games and they both beat the other 4-1 so I, I think TSM will take it and that's my predictions for you guys thanks for watching